Hey, what's up guys? So it's been a little over two years since I last did a video. Um, one of my videos was using the STM32 Cube IDE um, version 1.2.1 and then Touch GFX 4.13.0 um, using the STM32F746G Disco Kit. Um, yeah, when you tried to integrate Touch GFX with a Cube IDE, it was a pain in the butt. You had to copy some files, you had to link to some include folders, rename some text within the files in order for it to compile correctly without any errors. Um, now with the latest version that STM32 has now, which is a 1.6.1 on the STM32 Cube IDE, and then TouchGFX is at 4.16.0. Um, so now it integrates pretty well. Once you uh, generate code from TouchGFX, you can import that into STM32 Cube IDE, and it will compile and uh, load into your uh, LCT um, uh, development kit correctly and run. Um, the only drawback is um, the project name that you use on the TouchGFX um, application name. Um, it's not using that. It's using um, the name of STM32F746G-Disco. So I will show you how to rename that um, project name back to the project that you wanted to use um, when you uh, set up TouchGFX. So um, let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start touch GFX. When you do, you should get this screen. And let's name the application name to my 746 project. And we'll click um, the application template here. And we'll select the 746G discovery kit here. Select that and then let's uh, Put this in my P drive here and create the project. All right, so we have screen one here. Let's add a button with a label and we'll move that there and let's name this next. And then let's add another screen. So the screen two, we'll add a button to that and we'll call this previous, or pre for short. All right, so what we're gonna do is add interaction. So we'll click this tab, add interaction to trigger, button is clicked, and we're gonna choose the button with label one, which is this. And we'll do change screen, we'll go to screen one, because currently this is screen two, and we'll do a, a transition of a slide and we'll do west for this screen and let's go to screen one and then we'll add interaction trigger button is click and then button with label one is this one and we'll change screen and we're on the first screen so we want to go to the second screen and do a transition of a slide and this one will be um, east. Alright, so we'll just generate the code. You see down here at the bottom it says done. Alright, so we can go ahead and close this project. And then here, let's see. Let's go ahead and hit click file and import and we're going to do existing project into workspace all right you can see that I already had selected the root directory on my p drive and because I have worked on this a couple times just to test it out it's already selected it for me 
um, but uh, if it's not selected for you obviously you're going to have to browse to that uh, project and select it and then uh, make sure this is checked and then um, click finish and you can see here it loaded the project now the problem is is it uses STM32F746G underscore disco as a project name and not my 746 project so every time you create a new uh, uh, project through TouchGFX this is going to be the name because this is the discovery kit that's using so and I can show you here that it does generate the code correctly no issues no missing files or anything so it generates correctly so touch GFX and cube IDE integrations um, not so bad now if you want to rename this now I tried to do um, a rename here and I just got errors um, so I had to figure out how to rename this project um, so what I did um, which I'll show you so we're just going to delete this for now and do not check this because we want to keep the project there but we're only deleting it from the IDE only um, the files will still stay where they were here um, under the P drive so hit OK and then let's open up Windows Explorer let's go to um, our P drive, my project. Let's open up the STM32 cube ID folder here, and we're going to open this dot project file in the text editor. Um, I'm using um, Visual Studio Code, and we're going to name this right here. Rename it to my 746 project all right and you can see there's three places that need to be replaced so here's two down here and then one up here so we'll just go ahead and replace all and you can see that it replaced it here here oh where is it at one of this one and somewhere else it got replaced Oh, there, right here, and then right here. So now let's open up um, this .c project, and you can see there's 10 that need to be replaced. And I can see one down here, and there's more somewhere down in here. There's a couple here. So we'll just go ahead and click this um, replace all. So we replaced all 10 of those. So here, let's go back one directory, and then let's go to TouchGFX folder. Let's grab these two, and we're going to open that into the text editor. And you can see on this file here, um, there's two that need to be replaced. So we'll just replace that. And then this file, there's two that need to be replaced, and they're somewhere down the towards the bottom so you see one down here and one right here so we'll replace that and then I'm just going to do a save all and then just close out of that let's go back one directory so this IOC file we need to rename it um, this needs to be the same name as the project so we will rename that to my 746 project. If you don't rename it, you won't be able to open this file up um, in Cube, uh, Cube IDE. So now let's import that project, existing project into Workspace. All right. And as you can see, and now it's renamed to my 746 project. The ILC is um, renamed. And if you double click it, now it'll open up correctly. If it had the original name, it won't work. So 
So you have to make sure this Y746 project matches the project name here. All right, so you can see that this opens up. You can do whatever changes you need to here. If you needed to add another peripheral, you can do that. And then when you hit save, it's going to generate new code. So I'm not going to do anything here right now. So I'm not going to save that. All right, now what you can do here to make it easier to touch, open TouchGFX, let's go ahead and go into the TouchGFX folder here. And we are going to drag this into this project. We're going to link to the files, and there you go. So now when you open up Cube IDE, you want to make some changes to the graphics, just double click that. See, me adjust this. All right, so we got screen one, screen two, and if we can generate the code, and this should uh, generate correctly. We can close this and uh, compile this, build it. All right, no errors. And then here's the um, 746 discovery kit. Right now there's no program, it's blank. All right, so here I'm going to click um, this run button. Um, you may or may not get both of these, um, but we're going to use the 746 project.elf. And then under debugger here, we need to make sure that the external loader is checked. Let's scan. And then we need to select the 746 discovery kit, which is this one. All right, so just make sure you select this one. Let's apply, okay. It's compiling and it should connect to the debugger the onboard debugger and program the board. And there you go. So the first screen has the next button. If I click that, it goes to the second, second screen. And now you see the previous button. Click that and it'll go back to the first screen. So that's it. So you can see that TouchGFX generates code correctly now, and just importing it into Cube IDE, uh, it works straightforward. The only problem is obviously the name um, of the project. It was at STM thirty two seven four six G underscore Disco. So uh, I just showed you how to rename. The project and make sure this IOC uh, was renamed also, and how to um, link to this TouchyFX um, executable from within an ID by just dragging it um, that got executable into here. So now you can open up directly from here instead of using Windows Explorer and going to that uh, directory to start that TouchyFX or even just going to touch GFX uh, executable and then opening up this file. So that's it. Um, as you can see, everything works correctly. So hit the like button if you liked it and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.